Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay. This is of a legendary action puzzle game known as Chips Challenge. It was released on various platforms, the first being the Atari Lynx. Uh, yeah, it's pretty old. <laughs> it's been ported to many other platforms. It started to gain popularity, though, uh, when it was released uh, in some Microsoft Entertainment Pack on the PC, and that's where I first got into this. But uh, due to compatibility issues, it was eventually, well, pretty much impossible to play on later systems. But eventually, it came to Steam, and that's where I got this one here. Yeah, this is a Steam version of Chip's Challenge. It is an action slash plat... I'm not platforms. <laughs> action slash puzzle game. There's no platforming here whatsoever, I assure you. So, nerdy Chip McCallahan suddenly stops eating lunch. While Linda, the mental marvel, is sitting down next to him. Ooh. Melinda smiles. Chip, she says, if you finish challenge, you can join our computer club, the Bitbusters. <laughs> Chip has been a distant admirer of Melinda for a long time. Chip crunches his bag of pretzels and gulps. I'll do it! And the game begins. And this is one of the few games on a PC that I'll, I actually play with a keyboard that I, you know, that I prefer playing on a keyboard over a controller. But that's probably namely because of my Xbox 360 D-pad. But anyway, lesson one. Go over a little question mark there. Collect chips, get past the chip socket, which is above there. Use keys to open doors. So basically, colored keys open the same colored doors. And you move around to open the said stuff and collect stuff. And you gotta get those little chips. Oh no, see, I don't have a yellow key. That means I can't go through. By the way, a green key can be used more than once. Oh, look at that. And yeah, the first couple of letters... Uh, First couple of levels are just tutorial levels basically here, and I'm gonna go through them if you don't mind so that you can get the hang of, I should say, get the idea of the game and whatnot. Push blocks into water to make dirt! Watch out for monsters! So I'm gonna click those chips to make sure I can open that socket, and I'm gonna, yep, plop that in there. Oh no, there's the monsters! And by the way, as I said, that's a chip socket. You cannot go through that sucker without getting all the chips. Yeah. <laughs> Yowzer, indeed. Hmm, let's see here. Hmm, gotta get certain shoes for certain stuff. Got it. Good. See what I mean about the lessons? And then we go around. Just very quick levels just to get you into the swing of things, basically. And this is a little dizzying, by the way. <laughs> It's not animated on the original PC version. I just find this, I don't know, it's kind of trippy to look at. <laughs> Alright, this one's kind of cheap, actually, um, with something over here. There's sometimes stuff under blocks. Well, this one, oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's, it's kind of mean. I don't, I don't approve of that sort of design, but <laughs> it's just sometimes there in this game, but most of the time it's not. Uh, you don't really have to do any memorization to beat any levels, but this game gets ridiculously hard. I mean, it's probably one of the hardest games that I've ever beaten every level on. It's... yeah, and I've played a lot of hard games. <laughs> and there we go. Voila, as you can tell, the blue buttons switch the tanks around. So you gotta do the rigmarole with those, and voila! And you'll notice I got a Go Bitbuster instead of a Yowzer first try. Well, that means that I didn't get the bigger bonus of the two because I failed by purposefully jumping in the fire. Well, by purposely going in the fire. The red button controls the clone machine. The brown button opens traps. Oh no, I'll never be able to get that key like that. I'll just run into those square fireball things. And yes, they really are fireballs. So let's just try and turn that off. Oh, look at that! I can turn it off! It's magic! Yes, just as long as I get that ball that's bouncing over that button away from the button, I can grab that key without any issue whatsoever. And also, I probably should just, yeah, turn that off just so it doesn't bug me. These are gliders, yeah, and those are bear traps. The bear traps hold whatever they're on, including you. So, yeah. <laughs> If you're on the bear traps, you're pretty much stuck unless you set up something to get you unstuck ahead of time. That does play a part in one of the puzzles. Hmm, some invisible walls never appear. 
there can be extra chips. I, I mean, blue walls may be fake. Some invisible walls never appear. They can be extra chips. So uh, let's just go through. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't go through. I'm, oh, no. I'm not trying. Oh, geez. Oh, oh, goodness. What is this craziness? Oh, let's just see here. And yeah, that's how you get these. <laughs> there's plenty of time to do this rigmarole. And there's no way to get the chips on this side, if I recall correctly. I'm just going to go through these really quick. As I said, you got plenty of time to go through this rigmarole, and yeah, they're all blocked in. So, cannot get those chips on that side, so you have to go to the other side. And yeah, hmm. oh, this one looks pretty tricky. Teleporters can be directional. The thief takes your tools. New walls can appear under you. Yeah, this one steals your tools messes you up so let's just try and uh, do this very intelligently here i'd like to go and do this sort of kind of like one at a time here just so i don't lose too many of my tools at once so i'm just gonna go through the teleporters thusly and here we go here's the fire you can use the fire boots to go through that lose the boots and uh, unfortunately, it looks like, well, I don't have anything to be unfortunate of. I <laughs> just loop right around. I was going to say unfortunately, but, you know, yeah, that's pretty easy. <laughs> Lesson 8. Oh, no. Monsters are stopped by dirt and gravel, but they're still coming after me. Look at those teeth go. <laughs> the teeth looks a whole lot different than the original PC version. They look like actual... Uh, like wind up teeth toys and yeah, they follow you around everywhere, but you're much faster than them But uh, don't make you I mean don't make, let that make you think that you'll be able to get away from them easily Elon harder levels. Yeah, it's uh There's spicy meatballs on harder levels <laughs> Uh, and the lessons are over! And we get our first real level here. Let's dodge those fireballs and get ourselves across the doom! Okay, I made it. If I didn't make it, I would just kind of end up looping around here thusly. And yeah, it's, I just hold right over here to get across there. And I gotta build myself a bridge. By the way, do not ever forget to push on the dirt that you make when you push a block in the water to pack it down because you cannot push a block over the dirt and that got me stuck a bunch of times when I was trying to plan too many things ahead at once to save time and I yeah I forgot to press down the dirt and I messed up and it is a stinky bob <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. Oh shoot, why did I- I seen that- I was like, I seen that there was a platform to the right, but I pressed down anyway by mistake, and I just flubbed it all up, and now I am sad face. By the way, if you want to get the maximum score for each level, you'd have to go, like, go to the level list and go back to another level and come back to this level to get the maximum for the, you know, Yowzer first try level bonus type thing. But I'm not doing that for the sake of the video and whatnot, so I'm just gonna kind of flip-flop my way through this dealio once again here, and then I go like this this time. Yeah, you can see all the spots ahead of where you need to boost to. I should say where you need to slide to on the ice, excuse me. Now I got myself a little bit of a key catastrophe here, because I gotta loop myself back and forth between these dealios and, yeah, the line of fire, so I gotta go back between the green block, I mean, with a big green button to turn the green highlighted blocks, or green dotted line blocks around, to be able to get the keys and stuff like that, and tie myself between the fireballs, and yeah. Alright, now, watch out for the fireballs across the ice, they can still get ya. And wait for it, wait for them to clear out here, it's a little bit, it's a little bit dangerous. Yeah, um, I need that. I, I really need that. <laughs> Aha! Gotcha! I, uh, I need that too! It's not over yet! <laughs> and this is what makes the game so hard, because if you die at any time, on all these careful timing shenanigans, well, yeah, you gotta restart the whole level from the beginning, and that probably won't make you too happy. <laughs> There's the chip socket over there, so I gotta work my way back down that way. I got a block puzzle. Do not push them against the wall. We are sort of kind of soko bonding it up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you know that game, but it's basically a, a thing where you push blocks on switches so that you can complete the level, but, well, this isn't switches, it's bombs, but you get the idea. You get the idea. <laughs> and there are actually some Sokoban references on uh, other Chips Challenge levels, and it's quite literally like Sokoban, so yeah. <laughs> and, and there's the last bomb. There we go. 
Now we gotta go and get this last chip there. Carefully make our way back from the bombs. Don't touch a bomb or it's a loss. Voila. Oh, but it's not over yet. We gotta make sure to turn off that bear trap permanently so we can go all the way across here because otherwise we'd get stuck on the bear trap and we have to restart the level. Uh, I always forget the route on brush fire here. Let's see if I can do this first try though. Probably not. Probably not. We'll see though. And there's also critters moving around here, so that's uh that's a factor we gotta look out for. It. <laughs> uh this is not it. No, that is not. Hmm. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. I gotta go like along the left side somewhere along there first. Like maybe was it down this way to get to No, 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 that is wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Let's try just going down this way this time. Uh, but because, yeah, the time limit's a little bit tight here, so... Yeah, oh, bug! <laughs> I didn't see that coming, but if I would have waited a little bit more patiently, I would have been just fine. Uh, where did that bug pop up from, anyway? Hmm, okay, I think I'm on the right route now. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> It's like a maze of sorts with some deadly enemies flopping around along the way. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and another thing is you gotta pay attention to the what wall the what walls the enemies hug. Like whenever they move around and whatnot, so that you are able to avoid them most effectively. And wait a second, was this yeah, that was blocked. Ah mazes! <laughs> Early game mazes just just destroying me left and right. Wait a second, this was the yeah that was the trap throw. Dang it! <laughs> I'm running out of time. Dang it! There's there's enough time to check all the routes. It's just that I figured it would speed things along if I jumped in the fire to hurry along here. And dang it, that ah, I didn't pay attention. That was blocked as well. Bugs coming back around. So I guess that wasn't the right route. Maybe I was supposed to go down this left route here. Maybe 14 seconds to figure this bad boy out and okay, this does look more right um, Maybe uh, actually no, I don't think so. Oh, yeah <laughs> oh. oh, I'm just sucking all over the place because I forgot the routes Alright, focus PK gal and try and remember that route. Oops Oops, oops, oops. Um, I'll just hold on a sec. Got a loop. Yeah, around this way I gotta come down somewhere around the left and flop down. Yeah, this seems like maybe there's a way through. Yes. Okay. I think I've got it this time. I think I have to go up through here if I recall correctly. And up around and through here. There we go. <laughs> All right, I made it. After warming up in the first levels of the challenge, Chip is raring to go. This isn't so hard, he thinks. Is it? Is it? So let's see. Trinity. Oh no! Oh no! We got ourselves the rigmarole to do here. It's another sort of kind of maze, but this time we've got to got to time ourselves with the forest floors to get into certain areas to get past certain enemies. All this stuff is pretty simple at first. It just as it goes, it gets so. So much harder! <laughs> so now I gotta, whoop, gotta find my way back here. There's plenty of time to take all these routes and whatnot, but, uh, yeah, it's just a thing of, you gotta find your way around, and it is a tricky dicky. <laughs> and I wanna go around this way, probably. Um, that's blocked. And by the way, you can try going against the flow. Not gonna work. <laughs> Uh, there are some glitches that you can do in the original Chips Challenge, but can't do them in this version. Just saying, and you know what, maybe I should just leave those side routes for when I get all the keys and come back through here. I think that would be most efficient, because there aren't any, like, thieves or anything around here to mess with me, you know, to make me lose my stuff. So, yeah. Um... Let's see here, it's going around, gotta get those keys to get all the boots, to get all the stuff, and boop, there we go. Now there's one more, I think it's at, like, closer to the southeastern side, if I recall correctly. Um, not through there, let's see, I'm gonna go flop down, and uh, I think, yeah, it is perhaps this way, and then I, no, that's wrong. <laughs> that's alright though. I go this way. 
Oh yeah, I remember. There's like a a dual split on top of a dual split over on this part of the route. Because you have to go and stay sort of kind of like along this wall as, as much as you can to reach the other spots, if I recall correctly. Because you got to stay within these barricades, get underneath, and... Oh no, wait, it's not the split on that side. Dang it, I'm forgetting all the routes. <laughs> That's okay, though. There's enough time to do so. Okay, this was the dual split. Not on the other side. Maybe I'm thinking of some other level. And there we go. That means victory for me is all but assured, as long as I get all the boots. And... And I'm taking the uh, ice route last. Because of... Yeah, the chip socket is on that one. So, yeah. And obviously, if you want to get the world record times on this, you've got to pretty much have the levels memorized. But uh, what world record time doesn't have you make you, I mean, make you memorize the levels and whatnot? <laughs> hmm, let's see what game doesn't have levels that you need to memorize in order to get world record times on. Do, 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 do. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> And there's these little purple walls that you can't go through as well, by the way, but this is the end barricade of the level anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Alright, I think I'll do this last one. This one looks ridiculous, and it kind of is, but it's not that hard. I'll show you. <laughs> there's, uh, it's called Hunt because there are those teeth hanging around these parts, and they would love to eat you for dinner. Oh, there they come! And I like to lure them on the outside, if at all possible, and just kind of leave them there while I suck up the chips all on the outer side and come back into the center gradually. So yeah, I just just have my own little strategy for this. Takes takes a while to do it, but you got a lot of time to do it. And as long as you you keep collecting chips, you will be a happy chipster. So let's keep collecting those chips and go around. I think they'll probably be coming up this route by now. Well, maybe not. I'm going pretty quick. Oh, they came back. <laughs> I went a little too quick then, that means. Yeah, you gotta sort of wait for them to catch up to you on routes, and yeah, that's kind of what I didn't do, and that's why they came back around that way, because they're trying to find a way to nibble on me. <laughs> but that is okay. I can live with them trailing me the whole way through. It's not a big deal. I'm faster than them, as I explained before. So I can happily go and collect these chips in a zigzag fashion thusly. Well, sort of, kind of. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep them on the outside now and just leave a line of chips out there to keep me protected from them. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, I'll just do that. See, they don't go through the chips. So sometimes you want to leave some chips as a part of your strategy for completing levels until the time is right. That's another part of the puzzle thing is you got to look ahead and think, hey, there's a, there's a critter roaming around here, so I should probably probably leave some of this stuff here for later until I can reposition them in a little bit better fashion. And that this is a good level indicator of that. Because <laughs> look at how much chips that you have to collect and how much time you have to do it, so they give you a lot of time to think about what you want to do in order to complete the said level. And you don't have to collect all the chips, although I guess if you want to be extra special completionist you can do so, but uh, I don't think you'll be able to get the better bonus because, uh, yeah, you need to get a low time as well, so you can't really go out and collect every chip in every level, just get the bare minimum in your routes and then head over to the exit for maximum score. Yeah, since I got them hanging around the outside there, I don't have to worry about them whatsoever. And look at that, I am chipped out, completed. Heck yeah! Watch this. What was the name of this level? It was called South Pole, so let's hold down throughout the entire level, and magically we will complete the level! <laughs> Yeah, so while this one does seem like it's a cheap level, because it seems like you, it would be a maze of sorts that you cannot escape from, I just, I should say, unless you do a trial and error. Oh, no, 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 We were told exactly how to beat this level from the very beginning. South Pole, hold down the whole way. Oh, Teleblock. This could be a long one. So this will probably be the last one. Okay, so when you push something through the teleporter, don't follow it. Because uh, you might push it into a corner, and that will be your downfall. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Because you cannot 
push something through... I mean, you can't push something when it's against the wall of something, so you gotta soko bond it up by really, really planning ahead here, and I probably should have looped around the other way. And as you can tell, there's always a way to do this, as long as you don't follow a block through the teleporter. So yeah, just relax your way through it, and you should be fine. Just make sure that you don't go too fast, unless you're going for that world record, and you will be fine. Although the slightest mistap can cause failure, so uh, the, this game has a lot of levels like that where they make you do a lot of repetitive things, sort of to make you get impatient, and then you kind of mess it up because you're getting impatient. So, yeah, you want to keep focused throughout the entire thing, because the difficulty remains the same throughout, it's just a matter of you staying consistent. And, oh god, there's what there's this one level, it's called Pain, and, uh-oh, did I just mess myself up? I did! I didn't look ahead for which one had the keys! Ah! <laughs> Yeah, what I should have done was looked at the corners of the screen there. Yeah, see, you can you can look ahead by doing so. Ah! <laughs> I forgot to do that. See what I mean about being impatient? So I gotta do the bottom right one last. Because that is the one that does not contain a key. Oh, I failed on the visual puzzle. I failed. And I... I am shamed. Oh, no, I just accidentally pressed two rights in a row! Ah! <laughs> Gotta stay concentrated from start to finish. You know what I should do right off the bat? I'm gonna open all these doors. <laughs> if I'm gonna have this much trouble remembering to not hit a certain direction... Well, there we go. Problem solved. <laughs> By the way, the blocks can go pretty much anywhere, as you can tell, because a block is a block that goes in the water to make, well, I, 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 well, they go anywhere to an extent, like you can't push them in a corner, as I said before, but as long as you don't push them in a corner, you can just pretty much get them to any one of these four just by going around in the circle, uh, you know, just by pushing them in a circle, like I'll, I'll show you what I mean here in just a sec, I will... Uh, I failed, but I'll show you here really quick. See, that's what I get for being impatient. But here, this is what I mean. You do this all day long and get the blocks wherever you please. But I failed. But dang it. Me and my mistapping. <laughs> Alright, here we go. From the top, gonna go extra careful. But yeah, there's this one level that I was talking about that's that really tests your patience. It's called Pain. And it's absolutely ridiculous because of how long it takes you to actually get through it because it's a whole bridge building thing and you got to do like 72 of these blocks in one run through it while some dangers are going around the area. And it's, uh, yeah, it's very easy to make mistakes if you are uh, not very careful and because you have to be so very careful, it takes forever to do but you have unlimited time to do it, so it's you know, so you'll always get the level bonus if you do it on your quote-unquote first try. But it's the thing of doing it at all because it's just so so annoying. <laughs> all right, down to the last four blocks because I'm being a lot more patient and concentrating a lot better this time. Just gonna carefully swing them around whichever way I deem best. And just let my body do what it wants to do, <laughs> I guess you could say. There we go, two more. I'll just go... I was gonna say take the down route. No, nah, I can't do that because it takes me to the exit area first. So I gotta do the loop to loop And there we go. One more, here we go. See, it's the easiest thing in the world when you are being patient. But if you aren't being patient, it's not. <laughs> so it's it's a tester of all of your perfectionism skills. And victory 
is mine. Heck yeah. And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. I also hope that you give this game a shot on whatever your platform that you can get it on, because it is a fun action puzzler, I gotta say.